What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is Third Person Podcast. My name is Chris. It is. And with me, as always, is my buddy Mike. What's going on, Chris? Nothing much. Mikey, we're doing Stranger Things. Guys, uh, welcome to our first Stranger Things video. What we're going to do here is we're not going to be recapping anything. We're just going to discuss these episodes. Mike and I have both finished the, the season uh, watch these episodes multiple times, in Mike's case anyway. Uh, but this is season two. We're going to talk about each episode one by one. So you're going to get nine videos out of this. And this time yes. we're going to talk about chapter one, which is titled Mad Max. And yeah, so we're going to... So Mike, we got a bunch of new characters. And I thought maybe we, you know, let's just go through each of these characters real quick and, and just kind of talk about them, right? So uh, who's up first? I mean, right off the bat, what we get? We got the opening scene with, with eight, which was was very interesting and then after watching it a second time i kind of grasped it a little bit better uh what do you think about that opening scene with her and the, and the cop chase uh i like it i like how things open like that i like when i like when you open up a new season with yeah. new characters and you see because right away you get to see what's going yeah. on and what's cool is that they you know um they they go back to her later by the way guys there's gonna be this is all spoilers so if you haven't seen these yes, episodes we've watched the whole thing yeah we've seen the whole thing there are going to be spoilers like i said we're going to focus on one episode at a time but we will most likely yeah. get into other things from other episodes so like i said you know we see eight and we see how she you know what well, we see what she can do you know 11 has uh psychokinesis powers or whatever and she's got she's she's got also these psychic like, powers where she can make people see things so in the opening scene as they're getting away she makes the cop in the lead uh think that the bridge has broken down in front of him and he stops the car yeah. and his partner turns to him and says what are you doing what's wrong with you and he gets out <laughs> it was and he's really like, cool what the? Yeah, it was really you know. cool um really cool. so that was pretty cool so she's like she seems like a very cool character we'll get we'll get to her later mm -hmm. we're not going to go too much into her she's obviously we again number eight yeah it's cool know? that we're with that we actually now we're noticing that there's that there's others i mean i guess you kind of got an idea of that when we first found 11 in the first season episode you know in the first season anyway right but right, it's right. just cool that now we're no you know we know that there's there could be uh nine others out there running around somewhere you know yeah absolutely uh yeah. which is actually pretty cool and obviously yeah obviously we know that she, yeah she was exactly she's a, she's the last one or whatever yeah and, uh, but no, man, it, it, it's definitely, definitely cool to see these new characters. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited because it means that they could do more things. Well, they're, they're developing the show. Yeah. You, you, you know, it's, it's, it's very, um, it's, it's much different from the first, from the first season because it's just pretty much just in Hawkins, which it really was still for this, but it was a limited amount of characters. Now it's just branching out because the show is so fucking popular. You Not know only I mean? that. You know, and I'm going to mention here in the first season. So my, my initial, after watching the whole thing, my initial thing was, this is a lot like Aliens. You had you had Alien, and then you had the sequel Aliens. And it's basically the same form, formula, because you had one Alien in the first one. You had one dem, Demogorgon. And this yeah. one, you got multiple Demogorgons, you know what I mean? And... and it the Demogogs. Follows, uh, and, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. But you have more. You just have more of... You have it's a, couple a, it's of a bigger entity. Yeah, but also, like aliens, it has a cat, and it's got Paul Reiser. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so they're it's so good. The Duffer very, Brothers, so very good. similar, very right. similar to Aliens. Right? They're really they're bringing really awesome. everything in and and paying homage to some of the classic '80s um, shows and 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 the Creep shows. I loved Creep Show as a kid. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? I loved all those um, those kind of. 80s genre classic scary movies so they do so they do such a great job they've done an amazing job um, let's get into without going crazy let's get into the title character the title of the episode was obviously mad max let's um kind of get into her maybe her dickhead brother or stepbrother we we initially thought billy yeah so mad max obviously she's the new girl in town literally yeah. we see the guys lucas and dustin's crush yeah, yeah. we see the guys at at the arcade so 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 what happens is they're not playing D&D &D so much anymore uh like mike you mentioned yeah. we were talking off camera there's like a tech boom and out they're now they're out yeah. and they're, they're going to the arcade will's back and they're all going to the arcade and that's what they're doing so they're not playing D, &D that much but they're they're out doing that dustin's got these high scores they're playing dragon's lair which was basically just a quick time event game <laughs> If you think about I it, I never played that. Did you play that as a oh, kid? Oh, yeah, I played that. I definitely played that. I had it. It, it looked I, really cool. It looked like an animated movie. Well, it was. Well, Dragon's Lair was an animated movie. 
But the video then, game, it played like that? Yeah, it did. It, it, dude, it was really just quick time events. You know, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. press a button at the right time. I don't, I don't remember ever playing that. Yeah, I played it. Um, I had it on the computer, and, I, and it was also in the arcade. I had it. Yeah. Uh, I used to play it. So Mad Max is this new person, beats Dustin's score. We find it's this, it's this redheaded girl who rides a skateboard. She's a tomboy. Her brother, might as well talk about him while we're doing it, is the new... I've been I've heard him described as the new Steve. He's a meaner Steve yeah. because Steve yeah. last year he had you know he was the he was the antagonist of the humans, you know, the the kids and then yeah. he but then he turned into something, you know, better, like awesome, like he that he 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 shed that shell and became someone that actually was you cared about and stuff and for yeah. me Steve is one of the heroes of this whole ep- this whole season. Yeah. He's oh, awesome. Absolutely. He's so awesome. Absolutely. Yeah, he evo- he evolves big time, yeah. Steve's character. You know, it's funny because like you said, now this new character Billy comes in who's who's obnoxious as hell. He drives a fucking Camaro. You know, he's beating Steve at his own game like you said, especially with the basketball. Yeah. Uh, they were practicing basketball and Steve is Steve is just a man and now he's like, "Fuck, I have this competition here." Yeah. You know. So it's interesting how these guys how these guys evolve through through this season. It's pretty pretty rad. I liked it, and yeah. So Billy, so Billy, you know, and he's mean, <clears throat> and we don't know their story at this point. He's mean to, you know, his sister. You know, obviously, you can make assumptions like, oh, are they yeah. adopt? Are they like step siblings? Well, they're step. They, yeah, they're you step. know. Anyway, he's a piece of crap yeah. to her, and you know, so she's you know, so that's it. But we get to see her. We get to meet her. We get to see what you know the beginning of what's going on there. Yeah, just an introduction episode, you know, just there's just so Everybody, many new yeah. characters and it was it was just cool to get back into Stranger Things. Let's try let's head I mean, this was this is this is out of out of all these new characters, I think Bob uh, you know, obviously is the Radio Shack manager uh and Joyce's new the tech uh, guy, yeah. Love Good old Sean and, Astin, love Sean Astin, man. Yeah, he was he looked a little I, I, I mean, told you I told you I met him, right? I don't remember. He wrote a book. Remember. He wrote a he wrote an autobiography back uh during the Lord of the Rings days. Okay. And if you guys don't know Bob, if you're a little younger, you don't well, you, you know who you know what Lord of the Rings is. And he played Samwise Gamgee in Lord of the Rings, but he was also yes. in The Goonies, which is amazing for him. He was all, he was in he was in Rudy, he was in Goonies. You know, like he was yep. in a lot of these movies, these 80s type these 80s movies where, you know, it was the adventures, kids with the adventures and stuff. And yep. um Yep. This is very reminiscent. This whole show is very reminiscent of the Goonies, and Goonies happens to be one of my favorites. Yeah, um, as probably as well as you too, Mike. Oh my God, I Mike and I constantly quoting times. it all the time. Actually, <laughs> we, <laughs> on our other videos, you must have. What, uh, uh, they must have. You must have heard us. Um, so it's really interesting to get Sean Astin here into that because he's like I think one of the perfect guys. But I did meet him. He signed. I had um, um, his book. I uh, bought his book and he signed it for me and I got to take a picture with him and stuff. That's cool, cool dude. He was a cool dude. That was years ago. Yeah. That was years ago. But um so Bob, yeah, Bob's fun. Bob's a cool character. It was nice to a see new techie, new techie guy. Yeah, you know, it was nice to see the quarter and he's given us a piece a, a little taste of 80s technology. You yeah, know? he br- yeah, he yeah, he brings it in. But I but I want to say it's nice to see when on a writer's character, yep. you know, Will's mom uh what's her name again? Uh, I'm forgetting. Uh, Joyce. Joyce, thank Joyce. you. It was good to see Joyce have a little joy in her life. You yeah, know, like she, after, about. you know, and she's still, obviously she's still worried about Will because he's still having, mm-hmm. he's having these episodes and, you know, They're he's becoming still, more frequent. I, you know, now, I don't know the way you took it, Mikey, but I, I just, like, when that happens, I feel like he's back in there. Like, I don't think it's like he's just seeing, I feel like he's back in. I don't know why. Like, obviously not I, physically, but he is though. He I, I just think it's it's like a dimensional thing. He's able to that's what I'm saying. He's able to cross dimensions. Now, you know, we're gonna or get more is or is the upside down coming into that you know, it's it's as a thin there's a super thin line now. It's always the there, two. but and he's able to cross that threshold. That's my point. So when <clears throat> when he's having these now, episodes, he's now, actually in the upside down. He is, he is, but now the upside down is also sticking coming into them. Look at Dart. Well, and look, look yeah. at the trees and yeah, look at yeah. what happens to the crops, the, the pumpkin patches, which, which is know, which so it, they're yeah. intertwining, they're intermingling now to a degree. That's a and good and that's a good worse. point to bring up, man, yeah. because in this episode, we see like there's this pumpkin. It's almost they're merging. Well, it's it, exactly there's a reason for it. And it's mm-hmm. and so the, mm-hmm. the upside down has been 
progressively for the past year, infecting Hawkins and spreading yep. out and bleeding into the into our dimension. It's a real world. Yeah, into and real so world. pumpkin pumpkin patches are going bad, and, and, and the pumpkin farmers are all, like, blaming each other, and there's like, <laughs> oh, this guy's in this... You know, and we find out, you know, more or less later that there, that what it really yeah, is. A little but bit later on. while we're talking about that, why don't we head over to Dr. Sam Owens working at the lab, played by Paul Reiser. Another 80s guy. Another 80s. Yeah. That's, again, from Aliens <clears throat> in the same situation. This second yeah. season, as in Aliens, you know, there's more Aliens and there's more, yeah. and there's Paul Reiser and there's also the cat, which is Muse, right? Yeah. Mew Mew, right? Um, Dustin's, he, Dustin's he cat. called him. He called him Muse. I think it's Muse, but the mom was calling it Mew Mew. Come here, oh, Mew, well, Mew, her little, know? yeah. The, the and cat there's an right orange there. cat, just like in Aliens. I'm telling you, these guys, the Duffer Brothers. Oh, they're very smart with you know, that. You know, and you know that they're 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 younger than us. You know that, right? Like they didn't not, grow not up too much. But not they didn't grow much, up with this. Think. A lot of this happened. A lot of what's happened, actually, mm -hmm. what's happening now is after they were born in '82. I think this takes place, or at least in this was '84. Well, the, the, the very first thing said '82. So when we saw eight, that was '82. It said it. I remember it saying '82. I, I mean, you saw it Did twice. It? I'm pretty sure. I don't remember. Well, I said it out are, loud. But anyway, so yeah. So '84, yeah. whatever. The point is, is like these guys yeah. didn't even grow up with most of this stuff. They. Mm -hmm. They they did it later, and I've, I've I've since listened to like they were on Nerdist. I uh, I don't know if you've watched Beyond Stranger Things on Netflix. Yeah, I have. I so, have. So yeah. So anyway, bottom line is Sam Owens, Paul Reiser. We get him, and so so here's what the lab's doing. They're not conducting experiments on kids. They're not doing any of that stuff. They're actually trying to make up for it, and they're trying to contain it. And what they and they think yeah. they're containing it. They go in every so often inside that little chamber where the initial breach was that um, Eleven opened up last season and they're burning the 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 vines or whatever and they think that they're containing it i mean obviously we come to find out later that there's a whole cavern underneath you know and they know that it's spreading and 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 all this stuff but yeah so so here, here's so well, the, go ahead. what no no i was gonna say well basically you know in this episode though we're seeing what hawkins lab can actually do in as far as helping will and and we see Will leaving school early and going to Hawkins. He has these sessions with Doctor Rowan. Yeah, right, yeah. And and you know and Bob was there and Hopper was there. I mean, um, so that was it's cool that he's 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 there along you know for the, for this ride with Will and Joyce because it's got to be tough for them and it's you have that male figure. You know what I mean? Yeah, there. he stuck around and he's like, yeah, yeah absolutely. He, he yeah. didn't just. He I like that. Trust. I liked what they did with that. Yeah. Yeah, but you trust him, you know. In the, you know, especially later on, you start to trust um, Doctor Owens a little bit more. In the beginning, when I first watched, you didn't this, know. You weren't sure. Yeah, yeah, but but you see that it's it's much different from season one in Hawkins with the lab, right? And what's yeah. cool is I want to say like kudos to them for making like. And like you said, as it goes further, you'll understand that the lab isn't really trying to do bad. They are trying to help in mm -hmm. their dumb way, but they are. Yeah. They don't. They, they they don't just. Un, they just don't understand the extent or what they're actually doing. But the fact that yeah. they actually are trying to help, like the government is actually trying to help. The doctor isn't the mad doctor. He's not the bad doctor. You know, Paul. He's he's he he's great. He's absolutely great. He's yeah. gained a few pounds, Mister Riser, but. I <laughs> haven't I mean, we shit, all how about bob yeah. though man i mean bob, sean Astin, but he's boy. been he's been because he was in um sean astin was in uh a show called the strain which is a series of books that fx did on you know they're, they're doing and there's like three or four okay. seasons now but that it's a really cool show and he was in that too he was in the first season of that when he's yeah. got you know he's got his you know he's, he's not yeah he's not the thinnest guy anymore but um hey <laughs> Hey, with look, age, we're all getting older, you know, man. With, hey, he's still, right, hey, he's he's a good guy. We like Sean Astin. Um, no, it's great. Let me ask you this quick before we get into like Barbara's parents and, and whatnot, and that whole meeting, the whole dinner with Stephen and Nancy. Um, do you think that the Duffer Duffer brothers reached out to Paul Reiser to these '80s guys to these to Sean Astin, or do you think that it was almost like, all right, let me call my agent and tell him to get me on this fucking show? Um, I think, well, Sean Astin actually, um, applied. No, he auditioned for the role. Yeah, he did. He came yeah. in with an audition. Okay. He had an okay. audition. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's what they said in, in like the first or second beyond. When they were, I think it was in the yeah. first one. They were talking about Sean Astin. He actually auditioned for it, but they were like, yeah. well, yeah, of course we're going to have Sean Astin. In, yeah. You know, 
Uh, but yeah, they did. They re- I think they reached out to them because, or whatever the case. But like with Paul's, whatever case it was. Stuff. But I mean, it's just really cool. Like, Listen, they said. because they grew up on these movies. Like all mm-hmm. they know is they weren't TV guys. They weren't TV yeah. guys. They became TV guys with this. Oh, and and they did it. They did a show. They they wrote some of the like uh, the first season of of another show, uh, uh, Wispy Pine. Will Willow Whispering Pines or something like Wispy Pine? I don't know something like that. It's uh, another show. I, I have anyway. to look into. I'd like to watch it. Um, all right, so yeah, let's let's get into uh, the Barb parent. We, we we get to see Barb's parents and and uh, oh, can you know can we talk about Murray Bowman at the same time? So Murray Bowman is a a journalist who ends up talking to Hopper. Hopper gives him the five minutes that he wants, and he says it's a uh, you know there's this Russian this Russian girl going around, and she's she's got powers or whatever he's saying and. And Hopper's like thinking that he's he he knows about Eleven, but he doesn't. He thinks it's Barb. Cut to Barb's house. You know, Steve and Nancy are having um, dinner over there because a KFC. they have a little KFC in the classic bucket because you know they're sitting there saying how, you know see how they are now. Steve and Nancy know that Barb is dead. She died in the Upside Down. Her parents think she's alive. They've hired Murray Bowman to kind of look into it. A little freelancing, you yeah. know. So you know, so we got to see where they're at. We got to, you know, you know, and it's funny because they only really did that because there was such a uh, uh, a thing for Barb on the Internet between season mm-hmm. one and season two. Like the, the Barb, yeah. the story of Barb was supposed to just end. But because people were sometimes like, sometimes you fall, you know, sometimes you, you feel you feel really bad for certain characters. Yeah, or they, which is or great. They just do great. something yeah. that, you you know, that just really touches you and people just fall from. Look at um, look at him Walking Dead now with the. What's the, the the battle axe guy? Oh, Jerry, yeah. Jerry, like, I mean, I'm sure he's getting a lot more lines now that and a lot more dialogue. Because, because you never, that's really, the thing. And that's what's the beauty who, of this stuff, touches. man. Yeah. You never know, yeah. Yeah, so, so it was really, it, it was cool because, you know, in that in that one scene, there's a couple things that you get. You get, obviously, the fact that Barbara's parents are pissed off at Hopper because they feel like his investigating sucks and they feel like he's not doing enough. And obviously, we know as the viewer that, you know, Barbara's Barbara's gone. Yeah. So that was kind of interesting because we're seeing that they're doing anything that anything possible to try to find their daughter. They were even they're selling the house because they're trying to get more and more money just to it doesn't matter. They, yeah. These these parents can live in, in, a, in a tent in the woods. It does. It, you know, so it gives you that. But then Nancy runs off into into the bathroom. And that's where Steve kind of follows. And you see that um, you see that Nancy's really, really hurt by this. And she feels a lot of guilt because she knows she knows she knows they they both know. And they're sitting at this dinner table with this family, these parents that are just spending countless and countless amounts of money uh, for their daughter. And they know that in the end, it's a waste. Yeah. Yeah, So I thought that was that was a great scene in in this in this first episode for me that kind of stuck out a little bit. No, that's pretty good. I uh, yeah. like yeah. I said, you know that they it's a, it's a sad thing because they they mm-hmm. know the truth and they can't you know. But nah. so so uh, you know we were talking about Hopper. So I mean, lastly here, I want to talk about Hopper and Eleven. We fi- we find out that uh, Eleven's living with Hopper. Yeah. So we're like, uh, okay, like we all thought that you know she was in the upside down mm-hmm. this whole time. You know, yeah, and so you didn't, you didn't know. You know, you didn't know after the end the finale. And and one. the thing is, we didn't talk yeah. about it yet. But Mike, you know, he's been acting out this whole past year. He, every night he talks to her mm-hmm. on the walkie-talkie. He, he and he tries to get into contact he's with her. Trying to reach out. Trying to yeah. reach out. Let her know he, that he's, he's still missing there. Missing her and, he, and he's rebelling. Yeah, he, he's yeah, he's acting out. Yeah, he's yeah. you know. So uh, we find out. You know, we we find out later. I, I believe it was the next episode. We'll, we'll you know we'll talk more in depth next episode what happened. But yeah. she did get out of the the upside down right away actually, and you yeah. know. She was on her own a little bit, and Hopper finds her, and you know, and he's been he's been teaching caring her, for her, caring yeah. for her, and teaching her, teaching her new words, teaching her how to be a human. Teaching the Morse her how code to, was kind of cool. Teaching her Morse code, like they have this little yeah. code. He sets her up in that cabin again. We'll talk more about that later, but yeah, you know, yeah. so you know, honest, honestly, it's you know, I said it, I said it in the beginning. It's an introduction episode. We got all this 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 great new cast. And, you know, only a little bit of our original characters, you know, the Dustin, the Lucas, they're just all into Mad Max and they can't believe that a girl can do all these things. Mike is Mike is just missing Eleven like crazy. But he is um, hanging out with Will, but he is. But he is. Telling he's hanging Will. Out with, yeah, obviously, he's hanging out with Will. I mean, the boys are still hanging out. It's just everybody's now dealing with 
the past in different ways. And Will obviously is having his his malfunctions because he's yeah. having these episodes much much more frequent Scary, as yeah. as the year yeah. you know the year is coming. So that's what you know Dr. Owens kind of explains to them. Like, listen, it's probably going to get you know worse before it gets any better. With that's this, what they said. Yeah, yeah, with the year coming up. So you know, I mean, there's not much more with this. I mean. We'll it's, talk about Jonathan next episode. Like he was in this as well, yeah, and he's been he's, he's been sticking bit, by right. his brother, mm-hmm, you know, just mm-hmm. trying to make him you know feel normal and just yeah. just really trying to be there for him. And yeah. you know, Nancy and Jonathan had a little bit of a thing last season, but you know, she right now she's with um, Steve, and yeah. you know, but we'll get more into that later. I think we're gonna drop mm-hmm. it now. Again, we're gonna, we're trying to keep these videos. We're at twenty minutes, but we're trying to keep these videos short. So. But we don't want to. We don't want to take out any of the meat. So anyway, that's, that's right. going to be it, guys. What What did you guys think about episode one? Did you guys enjoy it? Did you not like it? What characters? Yeah. I want to hear in the bottom in the questions below. I want to hear um, in the section below. Sorry, comments. I want to hear what characters you like that were introduced in this episode. Yeah. Um, you could talk about the whole series. It doesn't matter. Talk about whatever you want down there. We'll 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 you know we'll hear them. We'll, we'll read them. We'll answer them. It's it's cool. Absolutely. Well, let us Absolutely. know what you think. Let us know everything you want to tell us. You know. But don't forget to check us out on Third Person Pod on Facebook and on Instagram, and Third Person Pod on iTunes as well. And yeah, so that's gonna do it, guys. Uh, we will see you on the next episode uh, of this podcast for Stranger Things. We'll do uh, yes. chapter two, and that's it, guys. Thank you so much, and uh, we love you. We'll see you in the next one. See you later. Peace.